You're watching the Mike Norvell TV Show. Welcome back in. So the South Alabama Jaguars come in. First ever meeting, second week in a row, there's a Sunbelt Conference team. And this guy is coached, uh, this team is coached by Steve Campbell. Here's a guy, I know you know him well because he coached your alma mater. 20 years, ladies and gentlemen, and the guys never had a losing season. And this team was really disciplined. Yeah, you know, you look at it, uh, their previous three games, uh, you know, this is a team that knows how to make adjustments. Uh, they, they're very well coached. Um, you know, they had some skilled players that, you know, the big number three receiver, uh, you know, uh, had an exceptional night, you know, won a lot of the one-on-one -on -one matchups, you know, they're mixing a little triple option. Uh, you obviously with the passing game, they get, they came out, drove the ball down the field. Uh, you was able to put a touchdown on the board, but uh, really, really pleased with our guys' response. Uh, we had a big first play of the game. We had a big run that was called back due to a, uh, a holding penalty that, you know, uh, I, I thought it was a, 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 you know, really close in, in, uh, in the call, but, uh, you know, our guys still responded from it. You know, uh, you see uh, Brady White with a nice throw to Monte Coxie, Patrick Taylor with a nice run and then get down in the red zone and uh, there's Daryl Henderson uh, finding the end zone. Great job of blocking up front by our offensive line. Uh, your tight end, Joy Magnifico, had a really, really good night uh, uh, you know, there in the run game and uh, you know, uh, I thought our guys did, did a good job on our first drive. Here we give up the big play, but love the effort by Tito to finish, to push the guy out of bounds. Uh, we talk about sometimes effort showing up and what it takes to win the game. A little mishap by them. They put the ball on the ground and because of the effort, we're able to have one more play, get to get the takeaway, big play for, uh, for us in the game. And that's Austin Hall. He comes to play every time and then so does this guy. Yeah, you know, uh, coming out, you know, we wanted to, we, we felt really good about a couple of the run concepts that we had. Uh, you know, great job of blocking by Joey McNifco on his left side of the line. Daryl with the big play. Then the screen pass. Uh, great job at Travion Tate, uh, you know, out there on the perimeter. Uh, keying a big block. Also a nice block by our receiver. Um, you know, here we get to a point, we kind of stall out. Uh, you know, they, they had a great pass rush. We talked about it. We knew it coming in the game. They were top 10 in the country in sacks. Um, you know, so we, we ended up, uh, you know, having the sack there uh, you know unfortunately uh, a little wide right on the uh, on the field goal attempt but uh, you know our guys just continuing to play it's basically I was telling Brady there just you know it's a good drive we're able to flip the field uh, you know defense gets out there you know playing with good effort you know we've had a, had a couple guys that went down last night uh, you know it's a new opportunity for guys to show up you see Josh uh, uh, you Josh there on the uh, on coverage and then we get the back ball back for the offense really nice physical run by uh, Patrick Taylor Taylor ends up with 75 yards in the night. You got so many running backs you can go to, and that is just terrific positioning and athletic ability. Yeah, I thought uh, Coxie played at a very high level. You know, another 100 yard receiving game. Uh, you know, here we get the ball back to, to Darrell on the perimeter. You know, kind of, uh, uh, you know, tries to tiptoe down the sideline, uh, but then we were able to get in our heavy package and pound the ball in the end zone. It was definitely great to see. How about the block by Joseph Dorses? Yeah, you know, jo JoJo's done a wonderful job for us on both sides of the ball, and. Uh, you know, I thought we did a good job getting to the quarterback. I'd like to, you know, had a couple more sacks, but uh, you know, really did a nice job there. Here's a wonderful uh, uh, job by Brady White in the run game. You know, being able to take what they give us. Um, you know, be, you know, showed a little bit of a triple option threat here uh, throughout the night. Uh, you know, got the ball out to Joey on the perimeter. Um, you know, really nice job. I thought Joey did a great job, like like I mentioned earlier. And uh, you know, here just been a phenomenal job by Brady, scanning the full field, uh, finding uh, Pop Williams in the end zone for his first career touchdown. That's amazing. That's the first career touchdown for Pop, so congratulations to him. And uh, there's some pretty tough defense right there. Yeah, John Tate, you know, obviously doing a great job here. You know, it's a bang bang play. I thought both guys were playing for the football, and they called the they called the penalty. Uh, you know, unfortunately, you know, Jackson went down. Uh, um, you know, we'll have to continue to evaluate where he is. I don't think it's going to be anything, uh, uh, you know, too significant. But uh, no, you know, we'll good. be able to evaluate that as the week progresses. Uh, you know, unfortunately, that uh, the penalty let them get down to the two-yard line. Uh, they were able to convert, and uh, you know, once again, I mean, these guys they, they did a nice job. Uh, you know, the, the big receiver Ray. I mean, the week before he had had 100 and something yards. Um, you know, with all the different things that they did, it posed some matchup problems. And uh, um, you know, obviously, we'll we'll go work and get that corrected. But 21-21 going. And a half, uh, you know, obviously they showed some adjustments throughout the game, and uh, you know, but we knew we had to have a big second half. So a lot of yards and a lot of points put up by both teams. When it was 21-7, I was breathing easy there for a little bit, but I got to give South Alabama a lot of credit. They did not give up. No, and that's something they'd shown in each of their games. They'd showed a response. They did it in the uh, Louisiana Tech game. They did it the week before to come back and win against Texas State. So we knew it was going to be a 60-minute uh, you know, battle, and uh, you know, our kids were prepared for it. We'll talk about some adjustments, and we'll uh, show you the second-half highlights. That's next on the Mike Norvell Show.